Thank you for stopping by 123Geek. And this is about the Google Titan security key and why might you need one. So stick around and find out. Let's get started. Thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. And this is about the Google Titan security key and why might you need one. So here is the situation. Google just released the USB Type-C Titan security key. This is the second iteration of the key. The first one was released about a year and about two months ago. So one year, two months ago, August, around that time. And the thing is, is that it is a multi-factor authentication device that allows you to log into your domain registrar, which would be where you host your website generally. Uh, it's also a place where, uh, for IT professionals, where you can actually have just your authentication into the Azure backbone. So there are lots and lots of different resources that are out there for the Titan security key and other types of security keys that are available. So as time progresses, things are going to be more and more dependent on security keys or multi-factor authentication. So here's the situation. Hackers are getting better and better at their job of, you know, hacking. And they get information different ways. Maybe a phishing attack where somebody goes out and sends you a fake email and you go, hey, Oh my gosh, that's, you know, Jim from the office. And Jim is asking for my password. He says that my password would allow him to get into his email account. Or, you know, it, you might think it's the IT admin at your current company. Here's the situation. With multi-factor authentication, this would prevent that from happening. They wouldn't be able to access your account unless you give them the key. The Titan security key is a physical fob. There's now three of them. There is one that is a NFC or a near field communication device, which is like a little fob that you would put on your phone or, or yeah, dangling from your phone or from your keychain, or on inside your gym bag or something, anything that has like a little, you know, loop that you can tie onto. And then you just bring it up to the scanner and it lets you in. Then there is the USB type A, which is the one that everyone currently knows of. And that's now USB three. And uh, you know, it's a little blue, it's on the side. And then there's USB C, which is that tiny one that's being used by a lot of computers now, as well as your cell phone. Unless you have an iPhone, then it doesn't have that. However, with the new MacBook Pros, there is USB Type-C on there. They call it Thunderbolt, but it is the same connector. The situation is, is that with more and more security issues going out every day over, just think about over the last year and how many security things that you have heard either for Microsoft or Apple or for your phone or for people getting hacked. I mean, it's endless. It's out there and people are, they don't even know how to act at this point. The situation is, is that you really need to learn to protect yourself. So the Titan security key is Google's step towards that direction. They just recently released this week, the USB type C version of the dongle uh, or the uh, Titan security key. Now this will work on your iPad, your, your cell phone, your laptop, and anything that normally takes multi-factor authentication to log in. Now, these are angled towards IT professionals. However, for the every user, there are, uh, there is, you know, no reason why you shouldn't use it. It's very easy to set up. They walk you through the process and you can get your stuff protected like your email and everything. So there is the near field communication one that I spoke about, which is like a little fob, you just tap it on it. Then there is also the biometric one, which uses your fingerprint to get into your system. And then there is the USB type C one that you need to leave plugged into the device to authenticate. Once it authenticates once, you should be able to unplug it. So there are other brands that are out there 
and I will put them up here and some of them are more expensive. Some of them are less expensive. But the situation at hand is that it's best to protect yourself before things get too bad. So I will also put a list of those in the description below. I will also make sure that I give you all the information I can regarding uh, what services it covers, the Titan security key, and roughly the USB Type-C one right now is about 40 bucks, which is pretty cheap for something that's so small and something that can save you thousands of dollars. You know, in some case, millions of dollars. It really depends. No one is out of the question here. So if you have any questions, please put those in the comments below. Please tell me what you think is the best way to handle this. I know that there are, uh, you know, like you can get a code sent to your phone. There's Google Authenticator, you know, but it, it's, it's truly up to you. Nonetheless, once again, thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon. And please share this video and let people know that you care about that there is a solution out there that can protect them from identity theft and access to uh, vital information. Nonetheless, once again, thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell icon, so they can be notified on my next video that comes out. And don't forget to hit that like button. Once again, so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. Have a fantastic week.